Hi, I'm Stephanie Wolf, PA and CEO of the Novus Center. And I'm David Dombrowski, the Center Director for the Novus Center. And today we're going to be explaining the top nine medical treatments for erectile dysfunction. Which ones we recommend for our patients and which ones we do not. So let's go ahead and start talking about the first treatment for erectile dysfunction. And that's going to be with the little blue pill or the Viagra, the Levitra, the Cialis, or whatever generic name you want to call it. These are called PDE5 inhibitors. So remember I kind of talked about you have that nitric oxide that will stimulate that CGMP, which inhibits calcium so that you can vasodilate? Well, unfortunately, as you get older, you actually start producing less nitric oxide. So the less nitric oxide you're producing, the less CGMP you're producing, which means you're no longer blocking that calcium, which means you have all this calcium running around. So now you've got vasoconstriction. So that's actually why the blue pill was invented, is for these guys. So what it's doing is, it's actually blocking the enzyme that normally would have degraded CGMP. Otherwise, you'd be walking around with an erection 24 hours a day. Our body is smart, it knows what to do. But again, as we age, we start to break down these enzymes. So the PDE5 inhibitors are meant to actually stop that production of CGMP or allow CGMP to keep that uh, calcium from going into the cell so that you can have a prolonged erection. So what are the pros of the little blue pill? Well, believe it or not, these PDE5 inhibitors were only meant to stay in your system for about four to five to six hours. And they were made that way for a reason because you're not supposed to be having an erection longer than four hours. <laughs> um, so really what the blue pill was meant to do was for those guys who aren't able to produce their own nitric oxide, their own CGMP so that they can sustain an erection, that PDE5 inhibitor allows these guys to actually get an erection by holding off that calcium so that you can have more vasodilation. So what is the con of taking the little blue pill? Well, first of all, I have to say this. For the younger guys, you guys are still making nitric oxide, and I want you to remember that. So if you're still making nitric oxide, you're still making CGMP, which means your body is still inhibiting calcium the way that it should. So if you're taking this pill that's supposed to block that enzyme, you're gonna have prolonged erections longer than what was intended. So I had a gentleman who actually just came into the practice last week. He was 23 years old and you know he took a Viagra. He ended up having an erection for 10 hours, had to go to the emergency room because he had to get drained. And um, now he's you know suffering with some numbness and he's got a little bit of scar tissue. So honestly, you guys, it, that's not what the blue pill was made for. The second thing about the blue pill, specifically for my older gentleman, who it was made for, the longer you take the blue pill, the more it doesn't work, which means the higher dose you have to take, which means the more it doesn't work, which means now you're out of luck. What do you do next? That's the problem with the little blue pill. It had a good point and there's a reason behind it, but it was meant to be taken as needed, not all the time. 